Today, let me show you how you can add textures to an image to make it look vintage. To create an authentic vintage poster, you will need to make your finished design look old and somehow faded. Now there is a trick, just add one or more texture layers to your project. Using the right blending modes, playing with different opacity levels, and maybe even tweaking the saturation, lightness, maybe even the color of those textures, you will successfully create your own and personalize the vintage effect. Now, I understand that creating a vintage posters involves more than adding one or more texture layers to your design. A vintage poster contains mostly three essential elements. Typography. To give your poster the look of a particular historical era, you will need to use the correct typeface. Since Acrylia may not have the fonts you need, next week and for those of you who are interested, I'll have a quick tutorial on how to upload vintage fonts into Acrylia. Retro Design To make your posters even more authentic, you'll need to create artwork that reflects the era you've chosen for your design. Now, this might take some research. Google the period you're trying to portray or replicate and see if you can find a bunch of retro images that will inspire you. Colors. Finally, to make your poster look old and dated, you'll need to choose your color palette wisely. Again, do some research for inspiration. Usually, and I know it's not always the case, vintage posters are made of just a few colors that are repeated a few times. Before starting anything in Krita, we are going to need to acquire some textures. For that, let's go to Pixabay. Now, of course, feel free to visit other websites that offer royalty-free images. I will add in the description box a list of other websites you might want to try. In the search bar, I am going to type Old Metal and click Enter. Now, let's see what Pixabay has to offer. I like this one. Let's click on it to select it. Before downloading the image, I need to check the license agreement. So click on the button Content License. As you may already know, all images uploaded in a Pixabay are free to use for personal use. However, for those of you who are planning to sell your posters, you will need to make sure that you are allowed to use the images you download for commercial purposes. In this case, we can use the content for free, use the content without having to attribute the author, and we can modify or adapt the content into our project. Here you can see that we cannot just download the picture standalone and sell it. In summary, we are safe. We may use and modify the image, but more importantly, we may use the modified image for our commercially sold posters. So let's download it. Back to the home page, we are going to search for another texture. I'll search for paint splashes. Same thing here, choose what you like, read the license agreement and download. Back to Krita, we need to import the two images into the application. To do so, go to Layer, 
choose Import Export, select Import Layer. Holding the Shift key, select both images and click Open. All right, let's work on the first image. Activate the Transform tool. Holding the Shift key, drag a corner of a Transform box to increase proportionally the size of your image. Click Enter on your keyboard to apply the changes. In the Layers Docker, change the Blending Mode from Normal to Overlay. Finally, decrease the opacity of the layer to your liking. Time to change the color of this texture. Hit Ctrl plus U on your keyboard. Desaturate the image until you like what you see. Then, if you want, lighten the image a little. Click OK when done. I will stop here, however, some of you may want to work on your texture a little more. There are a few more things that you can do to improve your image. Hit Ctrl plus B to tweak the color balance. Hit Ctrl plus L to tweak the levels. Finally, hit Ctrl plus M to tweak the color adjustment curves. These are a few examples. Please make sure to go to Filter and look at all the other adjustments you can make. Finally, don't forget to try the different artistic options. Now that you are done with the first texture, you are going to repeat the same process with the other one. And voila, you have made your image look old and somehow faded. Please make sure to experiment with other textures and see what you can come up with. I'll see you in two weeks. As I mentioned earlier, I'll show you how to upload more fonts into Krita. See you later. Until then, have fun creating and designing. Thank you for watching. Au revoir et à bientôt.